Have you ever had a really good idea for a project? Like a really good idea? But the second you tell someone about it, they immediately steal it and present it as if they thought of it first? Well, this happened to me. Now, I am a creative person. I have many ideas for stories, comics, video games, TV series, you name it. But I have this fear of presenting my ideas in front of others for many reasons. But this is the main reason why I am so secretive. In English class, we were assigned a project. A project where we were supposed to start a hobby and slowly improve over time. It was an experimental project about how much you can accomplish in a short amount of time and document the process. So the project was every day in class you would take 20 minutes to apply to your project. Simple stuff. It could be anything that you wanted as long as it was within reason. Some chose to start knitting, others chose to cook. So I was thinking about what to do and I landed on writing a book. I wanted to write about my zombie apocalypse characters to help develop it and also get a decent grade. So that's what I settled on. The way the class was laid out, there were desks grouped together. Sitting in my group were my two friends and let's call him Todd. Todd was struggling with what to do for his project. So he asked us all at the table what we were doing. My friends said their ideas and I told him I was going to write a book about a zombie apocalypse. When the brainstorming process was over, the teacher called upon us to present our ideas. We had to pitch it. So when it came time to my table presenting, Todd decided to go first. I have a hard time going up in front of people, especially classmates. So he went first before me. He presented to the class that he would be writing a book and I felt my heart sink. His pitch was almost a one-to-one -one with my idea. I believe it was also a zombie apocalypse story or an apocalypse story, but you could say that my idea inspired him, but I like to think otherwise, because I do think otherwise. The presentation of his idea was sloppy and it wasn't well thought out. We had to write out what we wanted to do for this project as the pitch, and also no one before him said they were going to write a book for their project. So I was a little bummed that I was next. I debated on changing what I wanted to do because it would look like I was copying him, not the other way around. And even my friend at my desk looked at me raising an eyebrow when he pitched his project. But anyway, I went up in front of the class and I said I would be writing a book, same as Todd, a book about a zombie apocalypse. Standard stuff. After I presented, I sat down mortified because of public speaking and it looked like I was the one copying Todd. Every week or so, we had to show our progress. I was progressing nicely. My document was full of pages. I had multiple pages of notes on how my characters are, how they behave, what they look like, stuff like I'm doing for my webcomic now. I have so many notes, I cannot keep track of everything. So I would say how many pages I achieved that week and continue. But Todd never really showed any of his progress. He always had an excuse for how much he had completed or how his story was progressing white lie after white lie until the final days of the project. Since this was a time-based project, I didn't get a whole book done, but I did manage to write 30 pages of the story, not counting rewrites or notes, but I was happy with 30 pages given the time frame and the amount of time we were allowed to work on the project. So I presented to my class 30 pages of zombie apocalypse gore, title page and all, with the notion that I would continue the story and learn how to write more creatively. They were allowed to ask questions that they had. They asked standard stuff like, how did you come up with this idea? What happens to the characters, the setting, everything? You can ask questions about whatever. Once that was done, it was time for Todd to present. He started off by saying how he couldn't present that day because his laptop broke or that the file corrupted or how he just left the USB at home. So the teacher gave him an extension to present. When the time finally came, he only had a few pages done, quickly written out over the weekend. He did his presentation. It was sloppy. But to make up for his lack of work, he made up the biggest lie he ever could have made in that moment. The reason why he didn't have a lot of work was because he was talking to J.K. Rowling about his idea and she was giving him writing advice. Yep, Todd was in contact with the J.K. Rowling. He stood up there in front of the whole class, the only guy to present that day, and he pulled that. Even the teacher was amazed at what he was saying, so she asked some questions about it. And he lied out of his ass. Safe to say no one believed him. Cause let's be real, JK Rowling? Are you kidding me? 
He was even claiming that she was giving him, like, insights to her latest book. What the hell? But <laughs> our classmates and even the teacher did not believe him. She said to me that she knew he was lying, had no intention of doing the project, and stole my idea. He probably could have gotten away with a good grade if he had actually taken the time to work on it and not lie about J.K. Rowling. He ruined his reputation even further by maintaining the lie even after the project was over. So <laughs> he copied my concept, he copied my story idea, he copied my, like, uh, presentation idea, but he never actually completed his project because he was too busy talking to J.K. Rowling, I guess. So, this is the main reason why I am so secretive when it comes to my creative projects and process. Because of people like Todd. Now I know that's, like, not really a good thing to be because of one guy, but it left a bad taste in my mouth. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss when I upload. And if you want to know what I'm up to, I'm usually on Webtoon. I post there every two weeks. And with that, have a good one.